Divorce is an inherently emotional decision that has financial, legal, and emotional consequences. We've learned that neurobiology tells us that all decisions are made in the emotional part of the brain. Other parts of the brain gather information. Other parts of the brain analyze information. But in terms of making the decisions, all decisions actually happen in the emotional part of the brain. So there's always going to be an emotional component to any decision, and the decision to get divorced is going to be particularly emotional. Now, now that we know that it's going to be an emotional decision, when people tell you, well, be reasonable about it, you understand that there's a problem being reasonable about what is an emotional act. But you're going to have to be reasonable. You're going to have to be reasonable for your sake, for your children's sake if you have children, uh, the system, uh, the legal system, your lawyers will demand that you be reasonable and you need to be reasonable for yourself because by being reasonable you will be able to move yourself through one of the worst times that you will possibly live through as quickly, as efficiently, and with as little pain as possible. So we're going to be discussing some topics today. Alimony, property division, children's issues, parenting, parenting orders, parenting plans, a whole bunch of issues. And as we do, hopefully these will be useful information for you so that you can be reasonable about this potentially emotional problem that you're going to be dealing with. Thank you.